I treat pain based on pain score, and this is why you should too. Look, I get it. The patient that's on their phone saying it's a 10 out of 10 while they're playing video games. Yeah, it, it, it te you tend to look at it and go, that doesn't make any sense. But hear me out. Each patient feels pain differently, right? Some people feel pain a lot heavier than others. Some people tolerate pain really, really well. So I tend to be somewhat of a candy man, especially in the back of an ambulance. Say I show up on scene and you're giving me a seven out of 10 pain. Your heart rate may be a little bit up and your blood pressure is a little bit up. So yeah, you're, you're probably in some pain. You know what the ambulance is gonna do? It's gonna now bounce you around in the back of it and that's gonna suck. It's probably gonna go up to a nine and, and I don't want that for you. So give you the meds. I understand the opioid crisis is really bad, right? But my job as a bedside nurse is not to fix the opioid crisis. It's to help with it, right? So provide resources and things like that for patients that they can use to try and get out of that if that's a problem for them. But if you come in saying it's a 10 out of 10 and you're in 10 out of 10 pain and I just sit there staring at you, that's not cool. People are in pain. And sometimes maybe the phone is a distraction and a way to get away from that pain for a minute. This is especially true with patients who have things like sickle cell. A seven out of 10 pain is a ridiculous amount of pain for a sickle cell patient. Please treat their pain because it's not gonna get better magically by itself. And that seven out of 10 is gonna very quickly become an eight or a nine. And then you're gonna be chasing your tail and no amount of fentanyl is gonna fix it. I promise you, I've tried. Now I'm not advocating for throwing meds at people willy nilly. You gotta be a little bit controlled about it. But at the very least, start by believing the patient, right? At least make an effort to try to get to some pain control with your patients. It's not fair to let them sit there writhing in pain all day.